<laughs> okay, Jay, the first thing I want to ask is that hidden idol you found, the fake one. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear in the audience, but a lot of people were, were really enjoying that moment. Oh, yeah. Were you able to look back and kind of enjoy it and not be, you know, feel like you were lied to? Or, or... I was never mad. You never? Okay, that's never. good. Even, even you guys, like, when I lost, I walked out and I was just like, dude, you guys got me. Yeah. Like, good prank, you freaking got me, and that's it. So I respect everyone. I was never mad. I was upstairs laughing, actually, with Cole. Was, the way they edited everything... It was perfect, dude. Was really I, he great. caught a fish. <laughs> caught a fish, caught a shark. Did it affect you at all by... Maybe you didn't scramble as much because you thought you were safe? Or did it really have no effect on your oh, game? Oh, that didn't affect me. Okay. I think I lost because I didn't, it didn't cover the numbers in the challenge. Because oh, I had the big lead, and then I blew it when they took the numbers. So, I didn't lose because no, I, I lost because myself like always. Jeff was really nailing you during that challenge, you know, over and over. You know, Jay, Jay didn't do this, and now everyone's catching up. Yeah. Could you hear that in the challenge, or did you, hear, or did you only see that on TV? No, you can hear, you can hear when he speaks because sometimes, like, even when he said, "Oh, you didn't, Jeff, Jay didn't cover his numbers," I was like, "Oh, I gotta go back and cover my numbers." But then I turn around, they're already there, so I'm like, "Ah, oh. they're cheaters. That's not fair." Oh, I know. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Was the challenge where Adam was like, "Ken, grab your ball. Ken, grab." It. I was gonna kill. Oh my god. The the vote was 10 votes for Adam and, and zero for the other guys. Why do you think Adam you know, won in a landslide like that? Because <laughs> I think Hannah flipped too many times on too many people, so maybe people took offense to it. And then with Ken, Ken was just loyal to David. So maybe they thought, you know, David's doing all the strategy, even though seeing it, I know that Ken's doing some of the strategy as well. And it just might have looked like he's just with David. You know, he's David's right hand man, and David's taking him to the end, and he's staying loyal, and they're helping each other. Mm -hmm. And then Adam was just, he found a way. He found a way to do this, and then to share that story. I don't know if that made his, his win, but maybe they just respected Adam more than the others. Were you I didn't. I don't disrespect anyone. Yeah. I, just, I love Adam. So, so. Yeah, he's great. Great yeah, he's winner. A great great deserving winner. Yeah. Uh, were you a big fan of Survivor before? Yeah, I love the challenge, dude. The challenge is my favorite part. And then scheming is like chess. So like my mom taught me how to play chess when I was little. Uh -huh. So now like me and my boy actually, uh, we always play chess. Like we'll go on trips, skim and surf trips. And then we'll, like at night when we're chilling and we're all tired, and we're just playing chess next to each other. It's like we don't even watch TV. Just doing that. So I love strategy of the game as well. What do you think was your biggest move? Was it was it turning the vote to vote out Michaela, or something else bigger than that in your mind? I think holding my idol all the time. Yeah, that saved me. I was screaming it a couple times. For you gotta long, play it. You gotta play it. Yeah, for a long time. I, that, I think that was just having the balls to hold it. I don't know how I did it, but I was just honestly there was. I had Sunday being like, oh, you're, I think you're okay. So I'd be like, all right, but this is still sketchy. But this is the craziest thing ever. There was two lights at Tribal Council, and I used to just be like, yo, God, universe, whatever's up there, throw something in front of one of the lights. This one's yes, this one's no. And every time it'd go in front of no, and I'm like, I'm not doing it. Wow. It's weird, dude. I love that. It's weird. Um, looking back on the, the twist of the season, which is Millennials versus Gen X, yeah. do you think it was a successful twist, or, or maybe not? I, I personally loved it. No, I loved it. Yeah. Because you really got to see the, the generations clash, and you really got to see the like you got to see people evolve you got to see the characters evolve and become like to see Brett like he came out to, to Zeke yeah you know that's that's you had a millennial change of Gen X's life you know meanwhile Gen X's have been changing Zeke's life this whole time so it's, it's crazy it was great just as a fan to watch how everything played out yeah it was sick uh, people are saying this is one of the better seasons does that make you really happy because you were involved in it <laughs> Uh, well, great to talk to you. We, we're, oh, thank you. I we're hoping it. you come back someday. They're oh, doing I another, so. you know, an All Stars one next season, but maybe in the future. I hope so. That'll be fantastic. Cool. Thanks. Thank you.